Hello everyone, welcome to Pilenin. Recently on my subreddit programming career, someone posted a question about whether someone needs an university education to find a job as a software developer. Let me read out that post. So this is from groundbreaking pass. Hello, I'm on the fence about university. So I have a few questions. Is university really necessary to become an employable software engineer? What would I miss by avoiding university other than social stuff? I think going through several programming related books and other materials related to software engineering in a prof professional environment should be enough. I would be in a pretty good place. Is that somewhat accurate? What do you think? So I thought to myself, I guess this is a really good time to talk about this important question. Do you really need a university education or a college education or a software degree in order to pursue a job as a software developer? Let's talk about this in details. Now, I have done six years of college education, bachelor's in mechanical engineering and master's in transportation engineering. And today I am a data engineer. Now, how did I go from studying mechanical engineering to becoming a data engineer without any college degree in computer science you can check it out in this video basically i have explained how my experience was to finding a job in the netherlands in the field of python and you will learn a lot from my experience but having said that let's get back to this question do i think that any of the skills that i learned during my six years of college education was helpful in finding me a job as a Python developer? Truth is yes. It was only during my thesis in my masters that I was working with control system of robotics and I had to learn Python. Because of that, I had this additional skill set Python that I decided to apply for Python jobs or data engineering positions and was able to find a job before I actually graduated. And therefore, I pursued my career as a Python developer and now I'm a data engineer. If, I, if it had not been for my masters, I would have never learned Python. Therefore, which means I would be doing something completely different. Therefore, there are certain things about the university that I feel are really helpful when it com comes to choosing between college education or being self-schooled. So let's talk about them in more details. Now. If you put this question to any software developer who has had a fair bit of experience in development or to a meetup group or to a bunch of professionals who are in the field of recruitment for software developers, you would, they would easily say, no, you don't need a college education. You don't need a university education. All you need are skills, skills that will help you become a front end developer, back end developer, DevOps engineer, data engineer, whatever, you know, for that. You don't need to go to college. However, I think a bit differently. In my opinion, this question and the answer to this question are both complicated. It's all about what do you want? What are you good at? What are your shortcomings? How can you use either of the things, either being self-schooled or going to an education, uh, to a college or a university to become the best at your job, right? Whatever you are going to pursue in your future. So. Let's talk about some points, how university education can be really beneficial. Like what are those levels on which university education triumphs over being self-schooled? So here are the things. Number one is a schedule and a syllabus. A university works according to a syllabus and a schedule, right? When you are, uh, when you go to a college or a university, you enroll into one of the courses, there is a fixed schedule and a syllabus for you to follow. You go through one topic one by one and you approach the bigger issue. Like let's say you are enrolling for machine learning, masters in machine learning. You deal with one topic one after the other and at the end of your two years master when you do a thesis, you have a fair bit of an idea what kind of things go into the field of machine learning and what can you do with it to uh, join a company and help them, right? When you are self school, there is no syllabus, there is no schedule. It pretty much depends on you. What do you want to do? Sometimes you're doing Python, sometimes you're doing math, sometimes you're doing uh, some regression thing, sometimes statistics, you jump from one bit to another. And I know a lot of the people who are self school, who like to train themselves, get really flustered. 
because they are not following any schedule. They don't have a clear uh, road ahead of them that they can pursue and become an expert in a certain field. In that case, I think university provides a really good schedule for someone to follow and therefore become good at that particular area. This might lack in being self-schooled. In being self-schooled, you need to have the discipline to follow a certain pursuit, uh, to follow a certain field or education in order to become good at that field, right? I think this is one of the biggest points. The second point is, when you are in university, especially I was in TU Delft University, I know a lot of professors work with really good companies as consultants. So they do research project projects for them. Now, if you are working with one of those professors, there is a good chance you can get into an internship or a job just on the basis of recommendation. All you have to do is show that you are really good at your skills and you, ha and you have the commitment to finish a problem. You have the commitment to find solution to a problem no matter how big it is. If you can convince your professor that you are good at what you are doing, he or she can easily recommend you to one of the companies and you can easily find a job without having to go through the hurdle of finding a job, uh, applying, uh, writing your resumes, writing your motivation letters, applying for jobs and those kind of things. So I think in that regard also, university provides a really good atmosphere or provides a really good potential for people to find internships and jobs in a much easier way. If you are being self-schooled, the thing is you have, you have to do all those things by yourself. Either you go to LinkedIn or online, you find internships and jobs or you go through your parents' recommendation, you know. I mean, either way, you have to put in some efforts. So I think that is also one field where university really provides an edge to students over students who are self-schooled. And the final thing is more about research-oriented jobs. Going to university is kind of a stepping stone for applying for research oriented jobs like research assistant, PhD vacancies, um, then uh, becoming a professor. Let's say you want to become an assistant professor. For those kind of positions, you need to have a college degree. In fact, it is mandatory you have a college degree to apply for such positions. Why? Because to be in these positions, you have to be familiar with the way academics work. You have to be able to write uh, academic uh, articles, uh, publish those articles in uh, scientific journals and for that purpose you need a certain bit of experience. Now when you are in university, professors give you assignments and projects and through that you learn how to write academic articles. Therefore, it is very essential that you have that skill. Now if you are self-schooled, it is very difficult for you to gain that skill because you don't, none of your daily chores require you to have that skill right you can easily make some sticky notes write your uh, something you really think about like your knowledge down in a book or uh, your phone you don't worry about structure and syllabus and you don't worry about the way an academic article should be written so therefore i think for that purpose also university is really essential coming down to the most important point is university required for you to become a software developer Short answer is no, but it's more about a choice. If you think your objective is clear, your goal is set, you know what you want to become and you know the skills that you want to pursue to become that uh, professional, then you don't need a university degree. Don't apply one. Don't waste two or three years of, years of your life in college. Don't waste all that money. However, if you think that your goal is not set, you, you don't know what exactly you want to do, you want to see what are the opportunities available that you can pursue in your professional career. In that case, I would really recommend you to take a university degree. You will be in contact with a lot of people. You will be in contact with students, professors, various kinds of companies. And you can easily figure out what is the right course of action for you to become successful in your field of interest. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, do share it with your uh, colleagues, friends, everyone and make sure to like and subscribe to this channel. Thank you guys. I will see you in the next video.